It was homecoming night for the six-ranked Central Catholic Raiders, who had a message they hoped to deliver to number 11 Lowell prior to Friday night's Merrimack Valley Conference showdown. That message ended up being, hey, we can play defense in the MVC too, folks. And a steady diet of tough D was served up by both teams. Central and Lowell piled up the sacks and the big hits. Neither was able to mount much in terms of yardage, especially in the early going. The Central Catholic defense forced Lowell into 10 plays of zero or negative yardage in the first half alone. We had two weeks to prepare, to, uh, prepare for the team, and uh, I think we uh, made the most of uh, our opportunity. They have uh, a lot of weapons on offense, you know, Gallivan, Sh Shaheem, uh, Gaiva, Dolan. So uh, we definitely had a lot on our plates, but, um, you know, uh, we, have, we have a lot of teammates that stepped up today. That said, you can't get many points without offense. We had two of the state's top wide receivers in action. Lowell's Jack Alvin has been among the elite since he first stepped on the field. The six foot one, 190 pound senior lived up to his billing by catching seven passes for 110 yards and a touchdown. Central Catholic's Cody Demers is making a name for himself as well this season and matched Galvin catch for catch. The Raiders' senior captain proved himself to be a big play threat both through the air as well as in the return game. Demers would finish with seven catches of his own for 128 yards. It was almost like we were matching each other uh, series by series. So uh, that first play was huge. It was a huge momentum builder, set the tone early, and uh, we, wanted to, we wanted to feed off that from that point on. The first of those big plays came midway through the second quarter as Demers hauls in a bomb from quarterback Mike Bolano bounces off a hit to end up with a 40-yard gain. Five plays later, it was Milano taking it himself around the right side of the line and banging it in at the end for a 10-yard Central Catholic touchdown. It was a rollout pass, and DeAndre made an outstanding block in the backfield. The receivers made blocks downfield, and I ran it in. Lowell came right back as quarterback Brian Dolan engineered a 60-yard drive on the Red Raiders' next possession, finishing up with a pretty 27-yard scoring pass to Galvin. Lowell would miss the extra point, so Central took a 7-6 lead into the half. Let's jump ahead to the fourth quarter now, and it was big play time once again for Central Catholic. This time it's UNH-bound DeAndre Drummond Mayree, who makes a terrific catch, spins out of the tackle, and goes the rest of the way for a 32-yard touchdown. Lowell struck back immediately once again as senior running back Guyver Mason takes the toss from Dolan and races untouched into the end zone for a 25-yard touchdown. But another failed conversion left the Red Raiders in a two-point hole from which they would not recover. Mike Balsamo comes up with a big interception on the next Lowell drive, and Central Catholic was able to hold on for a 14-12 victory. It was a weird game. At times, the atmosphere was, was strange down here. And I said to myself, this has been a weird atmosphere for, for this game. Both teams were just kind of treading water back and forth. Um, they're tough, and you know what? There's a chance we're going to play each other in a few weeks again.